Here is an angle. You can think of the creation of an angle as a sort of dynamic process that begins with two rays lying on top of each other. One ray remains fixed, while the other rotates either counterclockwise or clockwise to create the angle. Let's say we rotate this blue side in a counterclockwise direction, which is considered positive. This side that's not fixed is called the terminal side of the angle. On the other hand, the fixed side that did not rotate is called the initial side of the angle. And when this information is important, we should draw our angles with a little arrow indicating the direction of the rotation. This makes it clear that this is the initial side of the angle, and this is the terminal side, the side that rotated in this counterclockwise direction. Now, an angle could occur anywhere, and you could rotate it any which way, there's really no no rules about this stuff. However, it is useful to have conventions. Oftentimes, we'll want to draw our angles in what is called standard position. This makes them easier to compare. An angle in standard position, drawn on the xy plane, has its initial side fixed along the x-axis in the positive direction. And then, just like I said before, the terminal side will either rotate counterclockwise to create what's considered a positive angle, or it may rotate clockwise to create what is considered a negative angle. I might create this angle by rotating the terminal side counterclockwise, and then I could draw an arrow to indicate that direction. Clearly then, this is a positive angle. This black side is the initial side lying along the x-axis, thus it's in standard position, and this blue side is the terminal side, where the angle ends, so to speak. If I were to draw an arrow in the other direction, this would indicate that my angle actually starts at the blue side. This means the blue side is now the initial side, and the black side is the terminal side. This angle is not in standard position, since, in this case, the initial side doesn't lie along the positive x-axis. And it's a negative angle because when going from the blue side to the black side, that's a clockwise rotation. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.